Hey babes, before we get into today's video, this portion of the video is sponsored by Top Cop. So they sent me a bag to unbox for you guys. And if you guys are not new here, y'all already know the tea about how we, why we have to do our unboxings this way. So anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys this bag, give you guys a discount code, give you all of their socials, their WhatsApp, and all the ways to connect with them. And then we'll be on until today's vlog. All right, you guys, so the bag that I picked for them to send to me, I think it's called the Petite Mal Souple. The Petite Mal Souple bag. I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right, baby. I am not a Louis Vuitton connoisseur, okay? But this is the bag that I picked, and I wanna show you guys. So it's really edgy, y'all. Like, it's super edgy. It gives just, it's so me, because I feel like I'm an edgy person. But anyways, it only has one strap on it, and then it has a crossbody. And then it also has a chain and that's why i said i just feel like it's so edgy because a chain i'm going to show you guys how it looks on as well but for now i'm going to show you guys like up close of the bag it's just so cute it's like a little rectangle shape the monogram print and then it has this gold hardware detailing all over the bag and then right here in the front it has like the little louis vuitton luggage tag and then right there it has that gorgeous gorgeous gold louis v and then on the back there's like a louis v he stamp back there and then like i said all the detailing all around the bag is gold so the zipper is gold and then the hardware is just gold and the chain is also gold hopefully you guys can see the chain the chain is just so cute and then the crossbody um, it's like this like seatbelt material It's the best way to describe it but I have other bags that also have these straps and I really like them because they're not like the typical like crossbody that's leather when you're wearing it for so long your neck starts to hurt it's really like lightweight and super comfortable so I'm going to go ahead and start by giving it a zipper test because y'all know I love for my zippers to be like butter if my zipper's not zipping like I really don't want the bag so let's see butter so let's go ahead and look in the inside of this bag really quickly. So inside of the bag, they just have like this little styrofoam. I'm gonna take this out. And then right here in the back, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And like I have told y'all before, the stitching on record can make or break the, a bag and you don't want it to break. So let's look at the stitching all around the zipper. Everything just is super clean, super neat. There's no diagonal stitching, there's no zigzag stitching everything just looks good and then as far as the inside of the bag for a bag this small it's actually pretty spacious i wonder what all could fit in here so i have my phone right here which I always get used to test what fits in a bag i have the iphone 14 pro max and it fits comfortably in there and that is how my phone looks in there it's sitting flat and it it's fitting perfectly in there y'all so i just feel like it's really cute it's a really edgy little style they gave me a discount code to share with you guys which will be on the screen as well as down below in the description box also i know a lot of times when babes are ordering and stuff of that nature they asked how long did it take for me to get the bag from the time they shipped the bag to the time i had it it took six days and this package came with fedex just so cute so i'm about to show you guys how this bag looks on and then we will get on into the rest of our vlog <laughs> hey babes welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys if you guys are not new here i'm hold on Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys. If you guys are new here, I'm Zaria and if you returning, hey bestie, hey. So y'all, it is currently 10.26. It's Thursday, so that means Carter is at school. So I have to go get him in like an hour. I had made a nail appointment for 10 o'clock, but I wanted a set that was like a French. And it be taking them forever to do hand-drawn French and I don't want to be late to pick up my baby. So I just switched the nail appointment to 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go do that after I pick my baby up. So yeah, I'm just in my bathroom getting myself ready for the day. I just touched up my little lashes even though they need to come off. I need to stop trying to fill them in and just redo them and stop being lazy. But yeah, so today I figured we would do like a realistic day in my life. I wanted to start the vlog this morning, but we was running late. So yeah, I'm just now starting it. This is my little outfit, y'all. I had wore this to, pick, oh, to drop my baby off. When I tell y'all it's so goddamn hot outside today, I'm gonna have to take this jacket off. Okay, my necklace tangled per usual. But I just put on like a little white um tee, like from Target, and then this little set is from Pink at the Tory Secret. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put on some perfume. I'm gonna use the um what is this? Billie Eilish 
I'm gonna use this. I've been using the freak as this. Like, this has been one of my go to scents lately. It's so good. Let me see how much. <gasps> I'm almost out. Oh my goodness. Alright. Ask the cart. We'll be getting another one. But, anyways, y'all. Just gonna go through the motions of the day. We're gonna go get our nails done at 12. I'm still debating if I want to get my feet done or not because I have some um, content jobs that I need to finish and submit tonight or by the morning. So I gotta manage my time today. So I'm gonna see. But, anyways, I just wanted to hop on, introduce this vlog, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> All right, babes. Whew, we finna go pick up Carter. Thank you, Lord, for this day as we get ready to leave. I pray that we make it to our destination safely and back home safely. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, come on, babe. We ain't running. We ain't running we late. Not really late. We not running late, but I told you they be coming out early sometime. Anyway, y'all. I ain't got no earrings on. I wonder why I look like a little freaking boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, y'all, we just went and picked up Carter. His nose is running pretty bad, so I see he coming down with something. Said he not feeling the best. And uh, hopefully it's nothing serious. I get him out of these clothes, put him in the bed, let him lay down. Come on, camera. Camera, I gotta go to my nail appointment. Come on, no. I'm coming in 25 minutes. Look, you wanna tell them how your day was? My day was good. Just look at me. <laughs> it's okay. Let's clean your face up. So I just sat up here and went to the wrong nail salon, y'all. So this nail salon that I go to, they have two different locations. I usually go to two, but two didn't have any 12 o'clock appointments, so I'm supposed to go to one. I didn't came to two, and I called them like, I'm here. And luckily, their 12 o'clock appointment canceled, so I can go. And it's 11.59, so let's go. <laughs> All right, babe. So I just got back in the car from my nail appointment. It's 120, so it took like an hour and 20 minutes to get my nails done, which is why I'm so happy I decided to wait because I did not want to be late running. I did not want to be running late to pick up my baby. This is what I got, y'all. I just got a um like a little glitter French pink number. And you know, they all right, you know, just some light, just some light. <sighs> I'm gonna head home. Carter knows was running, y'all, when I picked them up from school. So I need to get them. We need to go to Walmart. Tonight I wanna make some chicken quesadillas and then some shrimp fried rice. So I need to get the ingredients for that stuff. Yeah, I need some orange gel because I had a freaking canker sore in my mouth. And bro, it's been taking me out. So yeah, let's go ahead, head to the house, get the fam, go to Walmart so we can get back home. I think tomorrow Carter's probably gonna have to stay home from school just because he is coming down with something. So depending on how he do for the rest of the day and the night depends on if he's gonna be able to go tomorrow. But I'll keep y'all updated. Let's go home. It is 2.51. I just got down the stairs to my car and I am so stressed out, y'all. So my brother-in-law called me and at first I was, I was like headed out the door so I wasn't about to answer but something told me answer the phone sorry answer the phone so I answered the phone he asked if we heard what happened to dad and I'm like what the fuck what are you talking about no he said he's been in a car accident he called CJ's sister from some hospital in Atlanta and we're like what the fuck like what the fuck is happening you know so his phone he's not answering his phone I called Oh, Jesus, I called all the major hospitals and shit. I'm gonna try to call this number that CJ's sister just sent me because if it's something urgent, like we will be out of here tonight. I gotta figure out what the fuck needs to happen. I think I'm being sick. God bless me. Why you wanna play so bad? Why you wanna play so bad? 
Good morning, babes. So I just finished doing my skincare for the morning, you guys. It's about nine o'clock, so um, I didn't have to film my I didn't film our whole little morning time routine this morning because Carter is sick today, so he's taking a sick day from school. Y'all know on school days, I usually get up at like six thirty to make sure he's up in time and I do his hair and feed him and everything. But today, well, yesterday his nose was like runny and everything. We picked him up. And then when he woke up, he said his throat was hurting, but I thought it was just because it was cold in the house. But he obviously is coming down with something. So I did not send my baby to school like that. So he is at home today. So we kind of just got to chill this morning. It wasn't very rushed, typical vibes that school morning is. And it's Friday, so he gets a long weekend. And also, there's a hurricane coming to San Diego this weekend so your girl gotta go get some waters and just some stuff to make sure we're prepared because one thing about it we live in japan always 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 was prepared for the big typhoons no matter how much people brush the storms off and say it's no need to do all of that i'm still gonna do all of that i'm gonna get my prep on because you never freaking know so yeah um at some point today we're gonna go and get some stuff just you know some prepping stuff i already my house is pretty much already stocked with like everything but can you really be too safe like is another case of water gonna hurt is an extra thing of gatorade gonna hurt anybody no so i'm gonna go get that but yeah i just finished doing my skincare and let me tell y'all why is my husband you been using my skincare products look at my damn snail music in. it's almost halfway empty he put too much on what who's that he okay yeah he good he be putting too much on y'all. He his face be turning white. Like he be using too damn much. And then also he all up in my La Rouge Pousse. Why are you using my good products, babe? And then playing in my stuff. But you know, it's okay because he gonna buy them again anyways. So I ain't gonna trip, but like, sir, I got this on the fifth. It's the seventeenth. Why is all that gone already? I don't use that much. But yeah, enough rambling about my little morning routine let's go ahead and make this family some breakfast and let's get our day started besties So it is later in the day you guys i'm gonna tell y'all what time it is so it's 2 40 and i'm in my car the plan of the day was to have a family day because um like i told i think i told y'all earlier we're prepping for a freaking hurricane in san diego which is crazy prepping for a hurricane on top of that um cj has to work for like the next couple of days or whatever so we just wanted to take the boys out get out the house for a little while y'all as soon as we got like everything packed and ready to leave the house the kids started going bonkers, bonkers, baby, C screaming, crying. They was just acting a damn fool. So I was like, okay, uh-uh. Carter starts saying his stomach hurts. Carter starts lying really bad whenever he's sleepy. I don't know. He'll just start saying something hurts. And me being me, I'm on the phone with the PCP. Like, oh, Carter said he has a stomach ache. Carter, CJ, like, get off the phone. He does not have no stomach ache. Carter is sleepy. So CJ was like, Let's put them to bed. When I get them to bed, you go. Go have a mommy day. Just go spend some money on yourself. Go have a day to yourself. And usually, whenever my husband tells me this, I don't take him up on his offer. But today, I need to, baby. I just need to get, like, <sighs> mentally, I'm more out. Like, I'm burnt out. I need a little break. Just been having so much going on. And, like, this, I, I just need a little me time. So... That's what we're gonna have we're gonna go have some me time i think i'm gonna go to this area called mission valley they have old navy they have marshall's Ulta, um trader joe's i'm gonna go give me some flowers just get out the house for a little bit and just really like get my mind together you know i gotta be the best version of me to be the best mom and the best wife so yeah before we go thank you lord for this day as i get ready to leave home i pray that you keep me safe and protected from all hurt harm and danger let me make it to my destination safely and back home safely in the name of jesus we pray amen so i really wanted to go to best buy as well because <sighs> this refrigerator that i want i think i already told y'all about it um i am waiting on the measurements for the fridge cutout for my builder but 
I, I'm pretty sure this refrigerator is gonna fit. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit, but I want to see it in person before I spend my money on it. I want to see it in person, and we have never seen it in person. So I called Best Buy. They said they have like a model on the floor, or whatever. So I really, 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 really want to go see it. So I don't really know because Mission Valley's over here, Best Buy's over here, and I don't really know. Maybe I have to like go in between. If I go by Best Buy. Oh, I can just go to Best Buy because there's Best Buy, Home Goods, there's Marshalls. Maybe that's what we can do. I don't know. Anyways, I got some packages in the mail room. I'm gonna pick those up and then I will see you guys when we get to where we're going. So when I went to check the mail, how about my dossier collab and another skin? It's called Skin Q. They sent me a PR, y'all. I'm just so excited because this time last year we was leaving Japan, right? Like we got here last September. No last august matter of fact it's gonna be a whole year since we've been back august 26 y'all i made it my bit i had already told my husband when we get back to the united states i'm gonna start taking content seriously i'm gonna keep posting consistently until i'm a content creator and baby i am that one thing about me when i set my mind to something i do not stop no matter how long it takes i don't stop and i'm just so excited if you know you know i've been trying to get a dossier dossier however you say it, dossier collab for the longest baby and i finally got one and i'm so excited and i'll be sharing that with you guys not in this vlog and another one but yeah like i'm not gonna ramble too much like i said we just made it to marshall's so i didn't go in here and see what we can find and yeah don't mind my wig child let's just not even talk about it okay but yeah let's go okay y'all so i'm in marshall's i ended up finding this picture and it's so big and it's abstract and it's only 14 dollars. it's a little dirty but like i can clean that off quick for that picture that size is like a $60 picture it's marked way down so I think I'm gonna get this and now I'm just looking at some candles because it just smells like fall in here and fall is my favorite season of all the time like girl and then I never find these cute little shot glasses and yeah I'm gonna just keep looking around let y'all know what else I find but I'm gonna get off the camera I don't want a copyright claim I walk past the refrigerator a million times didn't even notice it because they don't have the handles on Hey besties, it's the next day y'all. We have this hurricane coming today and we don't have no water at the house. So I'm finna run to the store and get some water. Thank you Lord for this day. As I get ready to leave, I pray that you keep me safe and protected. Let me make it to my destination safely and back home safely. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. So I got in the car, baby, a spider that made a damn web all around the steering wheel of my car. Nah, -uh. absolutely not, babe. I have a question y'all what do you call a person like as soon as you say you like some like you can say you like a car and then they'll be like oh uh, -uh i hate those cars those cars are ugly or i would never buy this or da 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 or if you say like anytime you say you like something they counter offer with how ugly it is or they counter offer with their god dang on opinion like they're buying it what do you call that because i think it's a hater i don't know now i think it's a hater what what, what y'all think what y'all think? Cause we, I ain't gonna even speak too much on it, but what, just tell me what y'all think it is. <sighs> Cause I say hate them. But anyways, oh God. <sighs> I'm about to run to Walmart because like I said, we need some, we need bread, we need bread, water, milk. That's what we need. So I'm finna go grab this stuff real quick. It's 11 11 and unfortunately, my hubby got to work today. So, unfortunately, CJ has to work today. So, I have to hurry up and get back home. And I got to try to make him some food before he go to work. I don't have to because he can always just go buy something. I just like to make sure I, like, try to get my man a home-cooked meal, you know, before he go to work. So, today, I took out some chicken. So, I'm going to go home and try to make him some wings. But, yeah, I just wanted to hop on the camera and ask y'all what do you call that kind of person because first of all i'm type of person like if somebody asks me like if something is cute or whatever i don't even be compelled to give my 100 percent honest answer because i don't want to hurt nobody's feelings just because i don't like it it don't mean you can't like it because we two different people and what i like you might not like you know so i'll just say unless it's just straight up dog doo doo ugly i won't say you know oh i don't like that that's ugly i'm not gonna say that because it's it's just not my taste you know what i'm saying so why would i sit up here and tell you what you're looking at is ugly i'm not that type of, i'm not that type of person 
but I just feel like some people don't know me that well like people don't know me that well because when I when I say I like something it doesn't matter if President Barack Obama said he don't like it it doesn't damn matter because Barack not swiping his card and it's not for Barack it's for Zaria so why is Brock compelled to give me his opinion unless he's buying it? Hey y'all, so I'm back at home. I just finished um, making CJ some lunch. And yes, I'm putting a pudding cup in there because my big grown man love pudding cups. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to pack him with lunch, get his uniform out because he got to get ready to go. Hey bestie girls, happy Sunday you guys. So it is currently 3.02 and it's on Sunday. I told y'all we had the whole hurricane situation going so we are just at the house really chilling. CJ has the boys in the other room taking a nap because I really needed a breather. I had a bunch of brand content that I planned on um, filming today and this morning as I was making up my bed my mom called me and she asked me if I had heard about my cousin and I'm like no you know what's going on or whatever and then she goes on to tell me that my cousin got killed in a car accident this morning y'all and when i say it kind of took my breath away because i wasn't expecting anything like that and my cousin is the same age as me and we used to be like this baby like sneaking out the house catching church van the next morning close 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 never told never fold the thing that gets to me is she has a son that's the same age as carter and he was in the car and my mama was saying like how he had to be airlifted and everything and they were on their way to church and the girl who was driving died my cousin died and both their kids were in the back and both their kids were airlifted and this is like I, it just gives me so much anxiety i'm so thankful for life i'm so thankful for all of my blessings my children the good the bad everything because life is truly so short it takes nine months to get here but literally a second to leave and like my mama my mama was saying they had like a barbecue yesterday and stuff and like my cousin was kind of saying like little things that like instantly that scared me that kind of like insinuated maybe she felt it coming because my mama said she had some drinks or whatever and she ended up falling asleep and she woke up out of her sleep like totally like distraught that she had to leave her baby that she thought she left her baby and everybody was like what are you talking about like we just put him in the room because he fell asleep when you went to sleep so we just put him in the room in the bed and she was just like no i left my baby i left my baby and my mom and them was like now looking back on it like maybe she saw something maybe she felt something and it's really been doing a number on me all morning so we are um I, I told my husband to ask his command if he could take some emergency leave so we can just go because i really wanted to make it to her funeral and everything so either this wednesday or next wednesday gonna try to leave out and go fly into atlanta and then have my mama or somebody pick us up i'm not really sure what her funeral is that's why i said either this wednesday or next wednesday it just kind of depends on the funeral and what day it is and then the ticket prices and everything so i have to buy four tickets like i have about four tickets so i have to go on like the most affordable day for my whole entire family and i'm just it just really is doing a number on me because it's like life is measured in seconds like take every second in love every second love all your people while you can and it's just really like so I don't even know like so surreal like I really can't even fixate my mind to say like R.I.P. to her because girl what are you doing like no you should be here like what's going on it's just such a hard like pill to swallow and y'all know earlier in this vlog I was just saying how we were probably gonna have to go home because my father-in-law had gotten into a crash if y'all been here for a while then y'all know my um husband's dad retired from the department of corrections and when he retired he started a trucking business in the boy's name and some some guy swerved over in front of him the day that i was telling y'all about it and hit my father-in-law head on and my father-in-law is driving like a big semi truck like he hurt his wrist and his back but the guy his little ford ranger went under the truck and caught on fire and the guy died like I, all week i've just been having like major anxiety and like now this to top off my week i'm a mess 
I'm a mess and I truly need to I need to see my family I need to see my family I need to be around my family my in-laws hug everybody let everybody know I love them because baby you just never know and like I'm just I'm just been so anxious right now like me and, me and CJ wanted to save up his leave days until the framing of the house was done and then we would go and visit and we would get to write our bible scriptures on the framing and everything but I think whenever the framing is up either we'll try to swing another trip and if we can't have my mom his grandma my grandma somebody go write some scriptures on the frame for us because i feel like right now in this moment we need to go like we need to go be around family because it's just too much happening first his side of family now my side of the family and it's just like it's just too much like it's just too much so yeah i wanted to come on and talk to you guys so that i can close out the vlog for the day i had like a couple things i wanted to show y'all but they were like clothing pieces and I really don't even feel like trying them on right now. So maybe I'll show you guys in the next vlog. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see coming up. I really want to do a big fall haul for y'all. Like fall haul and fall lookbook. But I'm not even sure if y'all are interested in that kind of content. So let me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me going forward in the next few months and weeks coming. Um, and yeah, just keep me and my family in y'all prayers y'all because... We are really going through it right now. We're really going through it right now. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye besties.